guys and welcome back here to the channel and in today's video I wanted to do a little bit of something different so today we're going to be d going down this west coastline here on Mississippi Acres Preserve during Gator Rest Time and seeing what we can find so let's get into it and as we're walking over here walking down the coast I wanted to say that <clears throat> they did put out a hot fix for console I believe it was on Wednesday they put out a hot fix for console uh, I didn't actually find out they did it until like Friday or something because I never heard anybody talk about it till I asked someone because I thought I heard someone say something about it. So I asked somebody, I uh, uh, asked one of my friends, I said, did they put a hot fix out? And he said that they put one out. And I got it, I believe I got the hot fix Saturday, got the update. But yeah, they put out a hot fix so it's not crashing now and I can actually get in my lodge now because my lodge is not crashing so that's good. But we're going to continue walking down this coast, see what we can find for gators, maybe see a couple of whitetail. Don't know if I'm going to go fully down the coast. I might just go halfway down it because I don't want this video video to be forever. Because then I won't be able to upload it, so I don't want it to be super, super long. But we'll see what happens. We do have a little level 1 female gator out there. Not going to worry about her since she is just a female and she's out in the water. So we're just going to pass her up and keep on trucking. Got a little herd of white-tailed does up here. There's like three of them right there, and then there's one down here. Nothing special, so we're just going to move on past them. Got a level 6 gator swimming in here towards your bank, 305 to 381 on the estimate that guy has gold potential. I think gold's like 378 point something. We'll try to get him down if we can get a shot on him after he gets up on the bank. Okay, so this guy's starting to come in on the bank. Got the 303 with the Argonus scope on. And we made a bad shot, of course. So I'm just going to chuck as many shots in there as I can so I can get him down. And he is down, so let's go pick him up. That's what I've been doing with the gators if I don't make a good shot immediately. As long as it's like a smaller one, not like a diamond or a rare or something, then I'll just put as many shots in them as I can just to get them down. But let's go pick him up. And here he is right here, so let's pick him up. First shot was... Uh, close to getting neck. If it had a bit more penetration, it would have got the neck. Then flesh, flesh again. Then the last shot was actually neck, the one where we had already messed him up. So that's cool that the last shot was neck, though. First gator uh, of the video down, so let's keep on moving. We got a few more up here that we'll take a look at once we get a bit closer. Okay, so there's a level 4 gator right here. He's only like 95 yards out in front of us. We have the 16, or. 12 gauge, I mean. Let's take a shot on him with that. That didn't get him, but let's chuck as many shots as we can. There's another gator back there as well. That's a five. We missed that five. We hit that four a couple times. We'll see if he actually does go down. Okay, so that four actually did go down. I checked the map. There was hunting pressure. He didn't float, unfortunately, though. He sink. We got a level six coming up on the bank there. It goes up to 378. Got another one, looks like he's coming in, goes up to 384. Then another six that goes to 439, right there. And then we also have another six that goes up to 394. So, like, four level sixes, uh, just right here. And that one goes up to 439, so that's the best one. We will try to get him down. Right, so this guy started moving. He's about 250 out. He started moving. I want to get, try to get him before he gets too far away. We'll just try to put a long shot in him. We put that long shot in him. Let's see if we can... Oh, that, there's a, that is that gator starting to take off. Let's see if we can get a shot into him. Just going to try to shoot either one of them. I don't want to spook that one, but it's too late. So let's just blast away at him. See if we can get any of them down. Hopefully we can get at least one down. That guy's starting to go down. One more shot should take him down. If I could freaking hit it. Jesus. Yep. Not getting any of them. Well, that's sad. Got one right there, though, that we'll try to get a shot on. We're going to take this guy before he gets in the water. A couple of those other ones did go down, but they just went down in, down in the water, and they're not going to float back up. But we actually made a neck shot on that guy. Dropped him on the spot, so let's go pick him up. At least we'll get him. So here's this guy laying right here. Perfect neck shot with the 303. 
a little bit low on that. We almost missed the neck, but we did get him. He's a silver 351 scoring. But let's go up the coast a little bit more and see if there's anything else. Got another gator way out there in the water, but not really going to worry about him very much. Let's just move on. We're not going to be able to get him anyway, even if we did make a good shot, because he'd just sink to the bottom. We got one about 150 out here. I think he went up to 10 or 401 on the estimate. We're going to see if we can take him right here with a 303, and he starts moving. Oh, my goodness. These gators, they just get up and start moving sometimes out of nowhere. Just shoot him in the face and hope for the best. It's kind of the method I've been taking sometimes with these gators. He is down, but sometimes I just shoot him in the face and hope for the best. And here he is right here. First shot, skull. Second shot, jaw. That one hit spinal cord. No. Yeah, hit spinal cord and double lung, and then that one was flesh. But, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and end the video. Uh, I'll look a little bit more and see if I can see any gators, but I think we're going to go ahead and end it. Alrighty, guys, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and end it. I don't want this video to be too long, so we're going to go ahead and end it. Be sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy. I'm hoping to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the year, so I'd appreciate it if you could help me get there. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.